What I, one of the things I want you guys to see is our kids getting their robots, to, or Lego robots, to play soccer. Um, basically, it's a my class versus another class. Uh, what we've done is we've actually taught the kids how to write algorithms. This was part of a project-based learning activity that uh, I came up with. Um, I shared it with my colleague whose classroom is across the hall. What we've been doing is we've been actually introducing um, individual projects, ultimately to teach them how to solve the main problem of trying to get the kids to develop a nice smooth algorithm for the robots to play soccer. This was a great opportunity. I have a son, he's 10 years old. His name is Grayson and I just really am very appreciative of the opportunity to have him participate in this program. Uh, I think all kids could benefit from knowing more about science, technology, engineering, and math, and what an awesome way for him to spend his summer, not only to uh, advance and to grow, but also to have an opportunity to network and to meet new kids and new teachers. So I just you know, thank all the teachers for all their hard work and for making this program great. The program part was interesting just because there was different grade levels. There was fifth graders, sixth, seventh, and eighth kind of mixing together, so you definitely had a different um, experiences that they had with the computer and just the software itself is like what was play, what was moving forward, what was moving backward, uh, moving the motors to get the arms moving and to shoot the ball. So it was very complex at first, so we just broke it up into small segments, learn how to turn left, learn how to turn right, just basic instructions and obstacles, and then we built up to playing the actual soccer game. For me, this is my first year, and so it was good for me. I, had, I was really excited to start this. And I have a lot of fun in forensic science. Well, this is just wonderful. Being here today really you know, brings everything alive. It tells you what Houston Community College is doing in partnership with the A-Leaf High School. This is a, a time for a summer program. You would think that our students would be either out in the streets or at home uh, loafing around, but instead they're here uh, doing this wonderful STEM projects and also the parents have come in to be part of this. This is the future. You know, we keep hearing that only 5% of our minority youth are pursuing STEM uh, studies. And today was just evident that we will reach and exceed that goal sometime into the near future and 10 years from today. This is a generation. This is our next generation. And it's just so wonderful to know that Houston Community College can participate here today.